got a sheep here. We're gonna take this man for everything he's worth. Probably. Only a hundred? You suck. Then again, that probably means that he's not the best Pazic player. Also, I'm gonna call it everything. Deal with it. Also, hi! Welcome back to KOTOR. If I didn't say that already, I wasn't sure. Um, crud. I was not paying attention. It's a great start to the episode, really. Alright, you're on a 19. Really? I'll take that. Match me, I dare you. Dare you. Oh. Challenge accepted, apparently. So, I guess since... We're gonna have some time to kill until I take all this man's money. I should talk a little bit about the air quotes job I had? Um... I mean, that's the main thing I have to talk about. I was gonna say that for a cheap trip. Uh, I can talk about it in both. Get in there. Um... So, I have been job hunting for like a good three months now. Um... And it... Said job hunting hasn't been going well. Um, for those of you who have been around for a while, I'm sure you know that... Straight out of high school, I went to college. And I got an English degree, and I actually used to have a writing job writing video game reviews. Um, unfortunately, the economy like turned really bad, and I was taking care of my mother, who had cancer, and like the website just couldn't pay me anymore anyways. Um, there was like some stuff going on. It ended up being that they can only have freelance people now, which like, I was tempted for a while to write for them just for the sake of it, but then I started doing YouTube instead. Um... Because if I'm gonna do stuff, I might as well do it for myself. Like, if I'm not getting paid. Um... So, my dad, who makes plenty of money and is more than happy to have me unemployed and watching the house and stuff, and really feels its responsibility to take care of me since... You know, I sort of gave up a few years of my life to take care of my mom. Um, well, not a few I gave up a noticeable amount of time in my life. I think it ended up being like a year or two. I can't remember how long she lasted. It, when you're taking care of somebody that's slowly dying, just time's a blur. I haven't been good with time since then, actually. Um, anywho, yeah. So I took care of my mom when the economy was going down. Economy crashed. I don't know people in this area. Couldn't find a job for a long time. Um. Not to go into too much personal stuff, but the fiance I had while my mom was alive decided to become an abusive a-hole in like that combined with the trauma of what was going on with my mom and all this other stuff. I ended up with really bad anxiety, which means I stay in my house. <laughs> I should have just played that four. Yeah, I'll stay with that. I would have been happier playing that four, but I won't. Okay, we tied. I'll accept this. Anywho. So yeah, I, about a year ago I decided, alright, I'm done with the second and third round of college that I'm doing, because I picked up two more degrees. Um. And if I get the job, like, I don't think I can handle working at Walmart, although I have turn applications, but like, 
Fast food, I don't want to do what my dad refuses to let me do anyways, because he's super protective like that. Um, it's like fast food's off the table, but like a job with the right kind of environment and stuff like that. It's fine, so I started applying, but of course, everybody wants you to have like two or three years experience, even for entry-level jobs, which is kind of stupid, in my opinion. Just... I just don't understand. Um... Is that would just be me ranting. Anyhow, so I've been job hunting for a long time. You know, always keeping applications and stuff out. And I asked my grandmother, yeah, I've been job hunting for like... Like every now and then I'd like pick it up for a little bit and then give up and this is just another round of it. And I was like, yeah, I've been job hunting for like... Three months-ish. And I just... I don't even get calls back. It's kind of depressing, but I just kind of accept it now. Um, and I was gonna you know, give up at the end of that cycle of trying for a job. And my grandmother was like, oh, I know this person that's looking for... Her phrase was two young girls to work the office and the desk and stuff like that. At his company. And I was like, oh, I could, you know, secretary work and I could do that. So I go in there. She had warned me that it was difficult to understand him. What was later explained to me by like the only person there that could understand this guy is that he was born with his tongue tied and they never fixed it. Now I don't know if your tongue can actually literally be tied or if that's just a really old saying and that I don't get or something. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna in this round, I'm just gonna Oh, wow. Well. Um Anyways, I don't know, but I was like, all right, whatever. Um, and for the most part, I can understand, because, like, you live in the South, you get used to those really thick Southern accents. Just Except for, like, he had quite a few words that sound did the exact same. I was like, on these, I'm going to need to work on them. Here's the thing, though. He doesn't have a sunny disposition to begin with. So he starts off angry when he's starting to tell you something, and if you don't understand every single thing he says, he gets more and more angry and, like, his baseline was a shout. So that was the first thing I had to deal with. Uh, second thing I had to deal with was he wanted me to make a Windows XP computer run faster, and he wanted to only use Firefox as his web browser. Here's the problem. And I don't know if you guys know this. Firefox no longer supports XP. So I looked up what solutions I can do. I did those solutions. And then he started having a script error, which, you know, people get all the time. You know, and I even, I looked up the script error. So he was like, make that go away. I wasn't doing that like two, three months ago or whatever. I was like, all right, I'll get on top of that one. Let's up a solution for a script error. It mostly worked, but it still popped up every now and then. So of course he got all pissy and started yelling at me for breaking his shit. I was like, dude, you said to fix something and I looked it up and tried to fix it. That didn't work. There's another solution. I'll give that a try. After that, there's nothing I can do because you're running Windows XP and an ancient version of Firefox that I can't update past a certain point because Firefox doesn't support XP anymore. Um, so next day, the solution that I tried still didn't work. He just sat there screaming and yelling and I tried to very calm because I was very calm and polite through all this. I want you to keep in mind, like, I never, like, he cussed and used words that I'm not going to use constantly, stuff like that. I was very calm and respectful. I always called him Mr., things like that. You know, I was the most well-put-together person there. Um. So he went to just yelling and shouting and throwing things around, not at me, but 
just slamming stuff around on his desk and just don't touch anything anymore and blah 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 and stop breaking my stuff and yada yada. Also, at one point he won. Okay, first of all, I don't know if this is anybody else's pet peeve, but one of my biggest pet peeves in the world is when you like if you have your account information and password written down somewhere and tucked where only you are going to get to it. Like, I think that's a safety risk, but I understand everybody doesn't have good memory. It's fine. He had full pages and large text where everyone could see him, stuff like that printed out. And a lot of them were copies with different passwords and stuff like that. And I was looking at that because he wanted me to log into different stuff and do all these different things. And he said, Go through those and get rid of the ones with the passwords that don't work no more. That was his phrasing, not mine. Trust me. I would have said any more. Um, so, d yet again. Go through these. Get rid of the passwords that don't work. And I was like, alright. I even made a list and like started like a Word document to print out for him when I had it done of the ones that did work. And he said to get rid of the ones that don't work, so what do you do? You throw them away. He comes in later and yells at me for throwing things away. And I was like, you told me to. And he's like, I didn't tell you to throw my shit away. And sorry for cussing. Uh, his phrasing, not mine, but just to sort of emphasize. You know, I'll say stuff instead, you know. Um, I don't throw your stuff. You know, I don't go to your house and throw your stuff away. Don't come to my place and throw my stuff away and blah blah blah. Also, his common phrase, like, every time he- This is how I knew he was gonna yell at me for something, and I heard this about 20 times a day. You're gonna get mad at me and storm out that door. In the end, I was not mad. I felt humiliated and stressed and was having a panic attack. And just- my feelings were incri- Alright, so he had sat down and yelled at me for something. Then he went over to Facebook and yelled at me more because I have the ability to fix Facebook, guys. I don't know if you know this. I'm just not doing it. Um, and then he had me come over there and write something down. Now here's the thing. A few times I had written stuff down for him. As an English major, I had made minor corrections and a couple of times he'd even said, now Type that up and make it look good, because he knew I had an education. Out of habit, I made the sentence that he told me a proper sentence. Like, I wrote it down as he said it, but then I typed it up to make it look like he had finished, you know, elementary school, basically. Um, I'm not being a jerk on that. Like, it was a really basic things. Um, anyways, so I typed it up the wrong way, you know, so the grammatically proper way. It came over and read it, a point at the thing, and it pointed up at the stupid sign he has saying there's a right way or a wrong way, there's my way, like his name specifically, I'm not going to say his name. Um, and it started yelling at me and cussing, and then went back over to the booking thing, because rem remember guys, he wanted me to catch up his eight months behind books. Um, I don't have any training in accounting or anything like that. By the way, I'm aware that most of what he wanted me to do was just like adding and subtracting, which is most of accounting, but like... Just I, I'm losing sense. Anyways, it's not something I felt comfortable doing, and I had told him that. Um, I should have just hit the card because I'm either gonna win or lose. Yeah. Um. Anywho. So I went over, started griping about my handwriting that I had earlier. Yet again, that was my fast handwriting. 
It's by the way, like, don't act like fast handwriting isn't a thing people have, because I know for a fact that shorthand exists purely because of that, and the only people that need to read shorthand are the people using shorthand, aka the people that are going to type it up and make it look nice for you. Um. Get in there. Yay! Anyway, so I went over there and started yelling again, and I just couldn't take it anymore. I just got up and left. Like, I felt really embarrassed because I, yet again, I had a panic attack and I, I was sitting there trying my hardest to not cry and then I just felt the tears coming and I was like, yeah, I gotta go now. Um... Unfortunately, my dad happened to be nearby because he had come over for something. I was staying at my grandmother's, which is why I couldn't record and post and stuff. Um, anyways, my dad came and got me and gave me a lift. Back to the house, made it go back over today and picked up the other car. And then um, dad went over there and said, you know, he thought he should still pay me. So the guy paid me but I had to go in there and get like paid by him which I didn't want to do but I did anyways. Dad wanted to be in the room while the guy was he talked a tiny bit but just in case the guy said something mean to me because dad's you know was, what is that phrase what's that like the spider that is it hackles hackles something I guess we're gonna go with 17 on that I feel good about that 17 anyways Dad was still in, like, defensive Papa Bear mode. He was like, what are you... Yo, you need something? What are you in here for? He went down in the room while he was paying me, and I was like, that's because you know you're paying me less than you should be, but whatever. I hit four. I hit F4. <laughs> that was the wrong four. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, that was my crazy, crazy week. But now I'm back home, and I'm at my computer, and I'm recording again, which makes me feel so much better. The place where I was working was, um... It's like an hour and 15 minute drive, if there isn't traffic. And then, of course, on the way back. So let's say there and back is three hours total a day. And I was working a nine hour day. There was a one hour lunch in there. So working eight hours, but there's an hour in there for lunch. Um, that's 11 hours of the day. I need eight to sleep. Because ideally you should get eight. That's 19. So like if I went through all the effort to come home, I would have had like five hours of free time. But then, like, I had to wake up early enough to, like, get dressed and stuff like that, so... Like, I tacked on an hour there, so really it ended up being, like, four hours of free time, because I was giving myself an hour to, like, shower and eat something and all that. So it just wasn't worth coming home if I only had four hours to do stuff. Whereas my grandmother lives in the same town as where the job was, um... And her house was five-ish minutes away? So that meant I could do a bit more and get more sleep and all that. It also means I ended up playing a lot of phone games. <laughs> and Fire Emblem. I got a couple of uh, Fire Emblem Echoes, which I've been enjoying greatly. I haven't decided who my favorite character is yet. Aside from most of them. I clicked that. We how dare you? You're not allowed to get twenties. Eighteen tops. Well, fine then. I 
Alright, anyways, I got home and my dogs really missed me. <laughs> okay, you gave me 25 two times zero. Cool. It's, yeah, I, Dad walked in the house and of course they were happy. And then I walked in the house and was like, oh, oh my gosh, she's alive! And then I got mauled by dogs. Not like murder maul. More like affection pile. Wow, I got my butt kicked by that guy. Yeah. Loading. So while I was at my grandmother's house, my uh, cousin was also staying there because her mom's having a vacation with her boyfriend and meeting his parents and stuff like that. Which is cute and all, I guess. Um. None of those cards are going to get me where I want. I could play a minus six and then hope for a small card, which is what I'm going to do. I feel like I had to play way too many cards there. No, I don't want stand. Are you kidding me? No, I thought I hit in turn. Anyway, so my cousin went and got a bowl of cereal, sat next to me, and just crunched and smacked the bowl of, like, the food the entire time. Mind you, it wasn't a quiet cereal to begin with. I'm just sitting here like, you know for a fact that I'm the person that when the family gets together to eat, when you're eating like that, I get up and leave the table because I can't see, like, she doesn't know how to chew with her mouth shut. People have said it to her many a time. And she's kind of at the age where people start going, you know, uh, you need to be more presentable, or you need to start having table manners. Like, like she's 15, I think? Yeah. 15 is way too old to be, like, just not having any form of manners. Yeah, give me that one. Oh, are you kidding me? Minus six works for him. Anyways. But like, yeah, I was sitting in the chair and I was like half asleep. Because I was just tired. And all of a sudden I just hear like, I swear she was making extra noises with her mouth while eating. I just kind of looked over like, are you kidding me? That's a winning hand right there, guys. See how winning it is? We won that round. Alright, let's go into somewhat fun, funny story time. I'm gonna ask a question that you guys can't answer, because yet again you'll be seeing this after I, long after I've asked this question. Your air filters in your home, do you know how often they're supposed to get changed? All right, I don't know why I paused so you could answer, but uh, the correct answer is technically whatever it says on the thing, but the average seems to be about three months um, if you're getting really, really good ones. It's actually less time because they're working harder and filtering more stuff out, so you have to change them more, but it's a good thing. Um, yeah, just stop right there. Yeah, stay there. Let me win. Thank you. Um, my grandmother doesn't change the filters in her house ever. And my dad got over there because he was changing out the filters and stuff for her because every time I go to her house, my allergies are killing me. Although, I'm not really surprised because, she, yet again, she doesn't change her filters. I might as well in turn. Yeah, that looks about right. Um, he went over there and was like, 
you, know, you take the first one out, and he kind of gave it a look and went, When was the last time you changed these? And my grandmother kind of gave him this timid look and went, When did you change them? I was like, About halfway through December? Because I was going over to Grandma's a lot to do stuff for the holidays and things. And I was like, you haven't changed these in s over six months? I was like, yeah, Dad's like, that's too long. <laughs> Just, he was stunned. He couldn't even talk to her. He was like, no, no wonder everybody comes over here and starts sneezing. <laughs> ah. Yeah, of course. And of course, and them cleaning up everything that kicked up all the dust. So of course, I woke up in the morning. I was like, "Ah, oh, yes, it's time to sneeze." So I took a Benadryl, and I was like, "Oh no, the Benadryl is gonna make me tired." I was like, "All right, I think I'll be good enough to get it through the first bit of the day." But just in case, I'll bring my bottle of B12 that I, my dad got it for me when I was feeling well. He's like, "People swear by this," and blah blah blah. So I had that with me just in case, because I was like, I don't want to be falling asleep, because I'll just get yelled at more. By the way, I want to clarify, I'm not the only person he yells at. He has himself, the other lady working there, uh, both of us were referred to as woman, and than an African-American gentleman that I will not call what he called him. And he yelled at everybody constantly. You were really hoping for that one, weren't you? I hope this guy actually runs out of money or else I've been playing against him for far too long. Um... <laughs> Play. It's, it's nice for, you know, a chance to catch up. I think the main reason the last day was so bad was, first of all, he was mad because... I don't know why, but he adds every single person in existence on Facebook. If they, if he gets an invite from somebody, he's going to add you. Um, and he wanted me to go through and on all the birthdays say happy birthday to the person. Specifically, he wanted to say happy, the letter B, space, the letter D, space, and then later your man. I typed birthday because screw it. I typed birthday after like getting a severe chewing out. I was like, you know what? Kinda salty. I'm gonna make you look intelligent since you apparently hate that. Um hey, here. Uh my brain turned off. Do I play that three? I played that three. Really? You had a minus four sitting in your pocket? Give me the six. Oh, thanks! <laughs> Anyways, so one day I went to check and it said there were no birthdays on Facebook. I swear on my life, I will write this for you guys in blood. It said there were no birthdays. Like, I checked four or five times over the course of the day because I was like, he's got way too many people on this list for no one to have been born today. And then I happened to run from Walmart, and he's like, I'm pissed off, and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, what are you pissed off for? He's like, I checked, and you didn't say the birthdays, and yeah, yeah, and I had to go do it myself, and what am I paying you for, and yeah, yeah. Um, I went in the next day. The gentleman that I'm not going to call what he calls. Um, so we're just going to call him the gentleman. This, he actually had a few manners, maybe? Anyways, um... 
he didn't show up for work, so boss was in a particularly wonderful mood. How do I have no wins? I have not been paying attention. Um. Anyways, that guy didn't show up for work. So, not only did he threaten to not pay me the next day, because Friday today was supposed to be payday, um, he threatened to not pay me over the Facebook thing and basically took out him being mad that the one guy didn't show up for work out on me the entire day. I'm sure he yelled at the other lady some too, but I didn't get to witness that wonderfulness. And his, his big complaint is that he needs people to come work for him and all this stuff. And I'm like, gee, I wonder why with your winning personality. Of course, like every day she'd sneak in and be like, yeah, he really needs somebody to work this. And he keeps going on about how great of a job you're doing and blah, blah, blah. And how hard you're working all this stuff. He keeps asking me if I think you're gonna stay on, yada yada yada, and just on and on about how badly he needs somebody to work the desk, and then you're gonna treat the person that... Why did I click stand? <laughs> Pay attention. Anyways. But yeah, you're gonna be in desperate need of people, because you don't have nearly enough people to be running that business. And... Then just treat anyone that actually does degrade themselves, like just lower themselves mentally to working for you. You're gonna take those people and just treat them like complete garbage and yell at them and just be offensive in literally every way. Wait for seven. No wonder nobody comes and works for you. Like at one point when he wasn't nearly as angry as normal, he came in and was complaining about the last person that he tried to hire to do what I was doing. Sat there drinking beer and on Facebook all day. Meanwhile, I'm just sitting there and if somebody walked in that door, I moved over so I could see who it was. You know, said hello, real polite, all this other stuff. I should have hit. I should have gotten another card because I need to win, but I don't know. I played it safe. Could have gone for 17. I'll take that. You'll do that again. Goodbye. Anyways, I was talking to somebody here about all that stuff and I happen to have an application in with where they are and she's like, you know, we're about to do our seasonal hiring. Why don't you come in on this day and we'll do the interview and get all that stuff out of the way so when we do you know get around to doing our seasonal hiring I can just go ahead and give you a job you know just have me start working and I was just like all right one good thing has happened this week that I did get a little bit of money so I immediately went you know what I'm gonna pay off the new Pokemon games I get to beat that 19. You can match it with that. Or I could do that. <laughs> Just should match it. I thought I had a good chance of getting the right range. Oh well. <laughs> Anywho. If, because I'm not going to get hyper-optimistic because it's just been one of those weeks and 
job hunting in general has been like that. Um, I get the job nearby. First of all, my hours won't be nearly as crazy. Second of all, it's not an insane drive. Third of all, I won't be told that I have to be, like, within 30 minutes of the place on my days off in case, like, they get a call and he needs somebody to come in even though the shop's not open on the weekend. Yeah, you guys take that one for a while. Um, people can't come in and come get their vehicles, but apparently I'm supposed to work on the weekend. Yeah, bust. Oh, dang it. I can also do that. Fight me. Like, I tell them, you know, I'm fine with coming in on Saturdays if they're actually, like, open and they really need something typed up, but, like... I think what they wanted was me to go to, like, Rex and doing repo and stuff like that, and I didn't sign on to do that. Like, they asked if I minded getting dirty, and I said, you know, I don't mind helping you guys clean up with stuff. And he was like, can you clean the bat like, janitorial stuff? And I was like, yeah, I guess I can do that. And then he just declared, you know, all right, if we go on a job, you gotta do this and that, and blah, blah, blah. Ah, dang it. I was like, oh, hold on, Neil. Also, you need a specific type of license called a CDL to drive big trucks. I don't have that, and I don't intend to ever have that. So how about we not hypothetically talk about me illegally driving your giant vehicle? Could you imagine driving with it? Like, next time you see a semi going by, I don't know if you guys call them semi or... The one that was at the shop was called a rollback, but it was a specific kind. Um, anyways, every time you see a tractor trailer, that was the other word I was thinking of. Like, next time one goes by, imagine yourself driving that. Like, I've known a few people that were either truckers or becoming, like, I had a friend in high school that ended up being a trucker for Coca-Cola in our local area. Um, and at first I was like, that's kind of weird, but then I was like, that would be weird for me. That's actually perfect for her. Don't have my story. Thank you. Anyways, but like me personally, I couldn't imagine driving something that big. Like I get nervous driving our van when I have to. I can do it, but you know, just I'm not very tall. How much money do you have? Is this guy endless? I'll play until the end of this. We got two minutes, we'll do another round. Let me know if he's actually endless and I'll finish him off next time. I thought he wouldn't run out of money, but yeah. I haven't kept track of how many of these one. I thought I was doing pretty good. Aha, I'll take that. Big yawn. Um. Yeah, we, I just. Alright, I'm gonna share it with you guys. I'm under five and a half feet tall. I'm not gonna give you the exact number. Like, I'm not. Like, a little person or anything like that. Height. Ch I, I don't know what the phrase for that is anymore. I know you don't call them the M word, but I don't know. M, not in. Get out of here with that. Um. Anyways, I'm not like a dwarf or anything. I actually had a friend whose mother was a dwarf. She ran a bar and she would kick your butt if you started trouble in there. Like, I'm not over talking. She broke a bar stool over somebody one time. <laughs> I was. She broke a bar stool and then made that person pay for the damage. I was like, your mama. I don't think she's played around at all during her life. <laughs> Look, dude, I'll take your money all day, but how much you got? Screw it, we'll do one more. Just for you guys.
Uh, where'd my brain go? I lost it. Anyways, yeah. But I'm pretty short. And, uh... Vehicles... Like, I had to get something out of the, uh... Not like the front seat where the passenger sits, but that area of one of the trucks. I had so much trouble climbing up. And on the way back down, I forgot that there was a last step. And I just dropped and I was like, oh, this is what it's like to have your knee literally at your chin. Although, credit to me, I can put my knee on my chin. I didn't intend to, but you know, it's a skill I have. I almost screamed because of Starling. I was just like, oh! Okay. Uh, most of me is on the ground now. We're gonna. Get out of this vehicle. Give me a four. Uh, applying that minus two doesn't win it, so. I want some ice cream. I'm gonna treat myself to ice cream today. I'm gonna post this, and then I'll get the ice cream. And then I'll record some last two or something. I get caught up in recordings. I'm not I just need to make some recordings. Really, I could have made one of this, and I could have made a one of ossuary. Ossuary? I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, you're endless, aren't you? I suspect you're endless. They've just been standing there watching me gamble. Alright. Um. Yeah, yeah, but I want to get games recording again and endless cards will be the name make it so I can have a backlog because I actually kind of liked having a backlog ready all right I will see you guys in the next one and yet again I'm really stressing please tell me stuff that I have to do before I leave this planet because I don't want to like leave this planet and be like, oh, I'm in the end game. I can't buy any new gear or anything like that. Uh, or I can't do these quests. Anywho, bye!